guys and girls, Vissi from the Thrill Alpha, and welcome to Writer's Tips and Tricks with Vissi. I am sorry for taking so long until making this video. I am really sorry that it took so long, but I have had time to get out, you know, I have had to get more videos out of other kinds, uh, getting my stock out, and, you know, generally I have had to get that stuff done. So... Yeah, but now we're back again, and today we're going to take on uh, this comment recommendation from Captain Frog. And now you can see how long this was ago, T two weeks, I'm sorry. Something about creating the blo plot itself. And now I will, before we even start, admit that I am not the best <laughs> of make of making plots. Uh, I would count myself as being the worst on that because of my style of writing being sit down, right? But for S1, uh, which I would count my most work, I actually have made a plotline for uh, a few of the videos now. There, so uh, we have one here for S1, part two. Uh, we have part three, and do we have part four here? Yes, and now I will just put up pictures on your screen right now, showing. Oh, we also got for Pledge Keeper here um, a few of these plot line showings, and as you can see, we got a line, an arrow pointing, and then you see from that pointing in a direction, and that is the direction. This is time-wise where the story is going. Now, I like to do this because it gives me a grasp of the main points. I, I take that, uh, we, first of all, we make the line, uh, and then, actually, let me just slap on a recording and I will show you. Okay, so let's do this, and stick around, by the way, to the end of the video, because you'll see a fail montage. So let's start off with the arrow, as I mentioned. Uh, there we go. Good arrow. And now we want to see here. Uh, let's just make up a random story. So I make out a line here to show where I want to start the whole story. And then I write something like uh, there to leave the house. And then we got like point one. Now we make a new one saying uh, to find a gun, and then we go on to to fire at me. I dodge. The end. Am I trait? A little question mark. And here we got a basic story, actually. Like, that's basically it. You just make it like that. So let's go back to the actual thing. Okay, so now we know how to make that stuff. That's basically all. Now, how do you develop a story? That's the next question. Now, to develop a story, I enjoy doing a kind of thing where I like... I just lay in bed or something. I don't I don't usually have like a certain thing. I sit down and I try to come up with a story. I don't get much from that. I try right now, but I'm getting used to it. Uh, but to address it, I just do... I just come up with a story. I don't really have any specific trick. Maybe take a walk, maybe watch a movie. Uh, documentaries are great for this, by the way, especially if you're setting it in modern time and, you know, or really any time, watch historical documentaries. I say documentaries, story for the win. Just just do it. Just, just do it. You will find tons of stuff in history and in modern time in science that you will never expect. Watch documentaries. It also helps you in school or just learning, you know, learn stuff. But with that message out of the way, I don't have much more to say. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. 
the video. I hope you also can look forward to a S1 extra video that might come out. And I don't have much more to say. Uh, thank you all guys and girls for watching this uh, tips and tricks about writing. If you got any more stuff that you want me to uh, take up in these videos, tell me in the comments below. I will love to read it. Now, thank you all for watching. Subscribe for Plus and Majestic. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Sub <laughs> Stay happy. I'm Vistar and Thread Elf. And until next time, see ya! Okay, so let's do this. Uh, shit. Okay, so let's do this. So, let's start off with the line. So we missed.